K-I-L-R Killer Game Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer and welcome to my tour around the world featuring Flight Simulator 10 Steam Edition. So let's go and talk about where we're going and where we're from. So here we are at Waterloo and we are flying this direction to we get to dubuque municipal which is right next to the mississippi river and let's see dubuque is what 115.8 yeah i'm gonna go ahead and set the nav radio on this one all right let's go ahead and well Help if we turn on the power here. And we got to tune in to ATIS 120.65. Right there. Runway 12. Advise you have information echo. This is Waterloo Mun. Information echo. <laughs> one nine or four Waterloo six Mun. Zulu. Cloud. Overcast at one thousand seven hundred. Visibility five zero. Temperature minus four dew point minus eight. Wind one eight five degrees five knots. Altimeter three zero five one. And use runway one two. Advise you have information echo. This is Waterloo Mun. This is Waterloo Mun. <laughs> oh, that just sounds funny. Waterloo Ground, November 1 3, Foxtrot, radio check 1 2 1 point niner. November 1 3, Foxtrot, readability 5. Readability 5, also November 1 3, Foxtrot. What if it's 1 or 2? Or three. Waterloo Ground, November 1 3, Foxtrot, ready for clearance, Dubuque Regional. November 1 3, Foxtrot, stand by. It's like, <laughs> bye. <clears throat> November 1 3, Foxtrot, cleared to Dubuque Regal Airport, cleared as filed. Maintain 5000. Departure frequency 118.9 Squawk 3013. 3013. See, they abbreviate regional as R E G L, so it's like regal. November 1 3 Foxtrot is cleared to Dubuque Regional Airport, cleared as filed, maintained 5000. Departure frequency 118.9 Squawk 3013. November 1 3 Foxtrot. Read back correct. Waterloo Ground, November 1 3 Foxtrot. Request startup. November 1 3 Foxtrot. Startup approved. Roger, November 1 3 Foxtrot. <coughs> Alright, turn the radios off. And we will get to start it. Back on. Let's get our parking brake set here. Waterloo Ground, November 1 3, Foxtrot, a part 2 with information Echo, Ready Taxi with Clearance. 
November 1 3 Fox Street. Taxi to runway 12 via Alpha. Hold short runway 30. Taxi to runway 12 via Alpha. Hold short runway 30. November 1 3 Fox Trot. Alrighty. Oh, wait, wait, just a second here. I forgot. Instead of having to guess where the runways are at, the binders that I've been inheriting has the information in it. Let's take a look. Okay. Runway... One, two, he wanted this to take. Huh. Via Alpha. Well, Alpha doesn't take us to one, two. See, I don't know. You probably can't see this, but... We are right... There. And you can see where Alpha's at, but it... Runway 1-2 starts way up here, and that's not... Taxiway Bravo goes there, but... Alright, I'm going to set that out. Sorry, Talia. So that we can... Taxi where we want to go. So pulling out here, there should be a turn to the left, and that'll take us on to Alpha. Now something we talked about on the last flight was that I was going to have Vox ATC basically controlling me and oh Alpha goes the other direction too apparently yeah well we're not going that way anyway so we were turning off the air traffic so that Vox ATC does not control it and letting traffic 360 run the uh, traffic and use the default ATC with FSX so we can hear chatter on the background. I don't know if how that's going to work out, so we'll see. So far there's no chatter. Um, I don't know if there's any actual AI traffic here or not there would be with if I had Vox ATC doing it because it doesn't care about schedules it's just it's going to generate traffic and have it take off and, and stuff that's interesting in here it's runway 30 on the map. But this one talks about runway 31. Dude, man.
Waterloo Ground, November 13 Foxtrot request cross runway 30. Don't say no. I will turn you off and go to default ATC if you do. I swear they're like ignoring me. They are totally ignoring me. Let's just go to what runway one two. A box ATC is fun to use, but. Just to have something a little different, but it's it's definitely got its annoying moments. And here we are. Odd. The uh, I'm not sure why this is freezing up on me like that. Is there air traffic somewhere that's causing it? I don't know. Yeah, do you see the green lights? That's the, uh... That's Vox ATC's way of saying, go this way. Is it telling me to hold short on 2-4? That's not what they said. They said 3-0. See, this is... Taxiway B. Hello, testing, testing. Last aircraft say again. It's not giving me any options to do anything. Well, let's go to one two and see if it uh See if it has me change frequencies.
tell you what, Vox ATC is kind of disappointing me. Oh, I don't know why I stopped. There's no one coming. I've had a lot of fun with Vox ATC, but it's uh having its moments. I hear what sounds like a propeller in the background, and not mine. It could be mine. And I'm thinking there's another plane out there. See, so right now it's it's stuck on select option. If we get to runway 12 and it doesn't change, then it's it's stuck. Is my plan making that sound? It's not changing. My binder back over here on my shelf. Yeah, see how it is? It's stuck. Now it says select option. You hit zero, and all you get is return. So it's it's stuck. So you know what we do here? We click disable. <laughs> Well, here, let me show you how this works, actually. I don't think I've ever showed you this. So when you, when you start up and you, you've got your, you bring out your Vox ATC window, you're going to click Enable, and it's going to go through all the voices that you have, and it's going to say Test. So it's going to initialize is what it's going to do. Test. 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 It usually Test. takes longer than this, but Test. the voices Test. are all... Test. Loaded into memory. Test. 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 Best. Sounds like he's saying best. Best. Test. Or test. 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 That last one was Microsoft Anna. <laughs> There's uh, a couple of AT&T voices in there because that came with one of my uh, older versions of Vox ATC. Okay. Just want to show you that I just went through the motions again. I'm finally just here. I didn't have to do any taxing or anything, but I was able to get it to where it says tune the Waterloo, Waterloo Tower. So I think I think we are good to go from here. Waterloo 
Waterloo Tower, November 1-3 Foxtrot, ready for takeoff. November 1-3 Foxtrot, wind 190 at 5, clear takeoff runway 12. Clear takeoff runway 12, November 1-3 Foxtrot. You know, it's crazy is the squawk is exactly the same. I thought they would have changed it. Get what height we were supposed to go to. Hello, Talia. What was that? Did you hear that? Now, I could have sworn I heard something. Heard something on the radio. November one three five Scott. Contact Waterloo departure one one eight point nine. One one eight point nine or November one three Fox Rock. So it's like, what was that? Northwest 4724, contact ground on 121.9er. It's working. Going to 121.9er, Northwest 4724. Waterloo departure, November 1, 3, Foxtrot, with you, leaving 3,000, climbing 5,000. November 1, 3, Foxtrot, Waterloo departure, Roger. We don't get to hear all the other voices, but, you know, except for when they change around the tower. And you can set up um, how you want that to be. Cessna 70 Yankee, you are 17 miles northwest, turn left, heading 160, descend and maintain 2800, clear ILS, runway 12, approach. Maintain 2,800 until established on a localizer. Contact Waterloo Tower on 118.1. Turn left heading 160. Climb and maintain 2,800. Clear ILS. Runway 12. Approach. Maintain 2,800 until established. Tower on 118.1. Cessna 70 Yankee. Mall 20 November. 
contact Minneapolis Center on 134.0. 134.0. November 1, 3 Fox Street, climb and maintain 5,000. Hmm, 5,000. Climb and maintain 5,000, November 1, 3 Fox Street. Contact Minneapolis Center on 134.0. Going to 134.0, Mall 17, Yankee. We got Dubuque tuned in, 66.4 miles. Yeah, that corresponds to the GPS. So we won't have to sit there and pull up the flight plan and stuff. I can just look down here real quickly and, and see how much further we have left to go.
Cessnat 4 to Zulu. Contact Minneapolis Center on 118.85. We got a little bit of a bumpy ride, but... We're holding steady. Well, we know the air traffic um, generated because it's talking to it. I toned down the traffic so we're not hearing tons of it. Um, I did bring up the airlines a little bit and brought the general avi aviation down because there seems to be a lot of it. Because I'm hoping to hear some more airlines that we haven't heard that yet. We heard Lufthansa. I heard that. I think we heard American. And... I remember what the other... I know we've heard a couple of others. United. Now these clouds are not default, this is Rex Skyforce 3D, just so you know. Fifty-four miles. <clears throat> Whatever will we do? Ooh, <laughs> well, Vox ATC is not telling me anything else at the moment. They might eventually, but right here it says take off, climb, and depart airport area. Well, we've done that, so. a good time just to sit back and have some snacks or something. Pretzels! Where are they? That used to be my thing when I was a kid. Pretzels and apple juice. I need to bring that back. 
I, to I totally need to bring that guy. That's going to be our food of choice on our flights. It's pretzels and ap apple juice. I almost said applesauce. <laughs> Although I liked that too when I was a kid. When I mean kid, I'm talking like three, four, five. Waterloo approach, mall, November 559075, ready to copy IFR clearance to zero two Charlie. Mall, November 559075, clear to zero two Charlie, airport has filed. Climb and maintain 10,000, departure frequency is 118.9 or squad 0433, clearance void 30 minutes from now. Mall, November 55975, clear to 02 Charlie, airport as filed. Must be twin, twin brothers. Thousand. Departure is 118.9 or squawk 0433, clearance void 30 minutes from now. Mall, 975, read that correct. Now something else we could try is still using Vox ATC for the um, for the communication back and back and forth, but then have ProFlight emulator in the background and having it give the chatter, because then we'd have a whole bunch of different voices then. Then that by that point it would be kind of silly. You know, you might as well just use ProFlight emulator, which maybe I should use it once, at least once, so that way you all, in case you're not watching the other flight simulators and you're just watching Flight Simulator 10, you can see how it actually works. Eventually, we're going to get ourselves another plane. I bought a new one for X plane. Hmm. Have to see what Carinado has. November 1, 3 Foxtrot. Maintain 5000. Join the way, Victor 100. Zero, zero. Maintain 5000, join Airway Victor 100, November 1 3 Foxtrot. November 1 3 Foxtrot, contact Chicago Center 132.8. 132.8, November 1 3 Foxtrot. 132.8. Chicago Center, November 1, 3 Foxtrot with you at 5,000. November 1, 3 Foxtrot, Chicago Center, Roger, Altimeter 3045. Chicago Center, 5.09 with you, flight level 240, 5309, Chicago Center, Roger. That's the only problem is that they don't talk to each other, so you hear them Chicago talking Center, at the same time. Pacific 
I still have default in here. I tried to deactivate it. That just deactivated the whole thing. And then there was a line that you can put into the config file, um, which was supposed to force traffic 360 to do something. November more. one, three fox eight. Contact W number one one nine at point five. What? I have no idea what he said. One one nine point five November one three fox five. Oh, Dubuque Tower. We're not that close. Dubuque Tower, November 1 3 Foxtrot, with you at 5000. November 1 3 Foxtrot, <coughs> heading 1 to 5, descending, maintain, 4000. Expect vectors 2, L, dash, run UA 36, approach, alternative 3054. Fly heading 1 2 5, descend and maintain 4000, November 1 3 Foxtrot. 1 2 5. Does it bother you with this gun? November yeah. one, three fox turn the right heading one to five. Well, yeah, I did. Turn right, heading one two five, November one three five shot. The wind is blowing me around. <coughs> We're thirty six miles away. I don't know why it's having us go to tower. Seems off the highway. So ILS number one, one three fox. Immediately descend and maintain four thousand. Descend and maintain four thousand. November one three five five. What is it? Three thousand. Okay. Vectors to ILS runway three six. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Select approach. November 1, 3 Fox. Turn right heading 1 to 5. One three six right there. Enter. We'll do vectors. And activate. Yay. November 1, 3 Fox. Turn right heading 1 to 5. Yeah, whatever, man. Alright. Zoom out here. And there's our vector thing. Turn right heading 125, November 13 Foxtrot. November 13 Foxtrot. Turn right heading 125. I am. Turn right heading 125, November 1, 3, Fox Rock.
wind is a tough cookie. <coughs> So, in my treasure book here... November 1, 3 fox turn right heading 130. Turn right heading 130, November 1, 3 fox shot. So in my treasure book here for Iowa, these are maps and binders. I believe I've got Dubuque on here. Let's see, that's Cedar Rapids. Dubuque, okay. Yes, chart, ILS, 3-6, right here. See? You can kind of see. So, I got my aircraft chart up here. Alright, so according to the chart, we're supposed to be approaching at about 3,000 feet. get to golden we should be at 2700 golden oh that's where we're headed see that's the one that's uh it's right here so we should be at 2700 right there ILS is one one's hold on. I think that's one one zero point nine. I'm gonna change this so we can still have our DME here. Switch that there. Switch that over. Oh, uh, there we go. Right now, all right. Now we can change this to one one zero point nine. Five seven. We need to set this for three five seven. Ooh, oh, I like that. All I'm doing is clicking this and just scrolling to the right or left. Man, that's better than the mouse wheel. I just discovered it. <laughs> November 1, 3 Fox, turn right heading, 130. Turn right heading, 130, November 1, 3 Fox, Rock.
currently 24 miles away from the Golden Waypoint. This chart is part of Navigraph charts. Hmm. So I get this, I guess this former pilot who was, who did all these binders, I guess he had a Navigraph account. That's cool. Tiny little uh, hills and how it kind of goes in and out. That's cool. Little farms. Orbix does a nice job. Uh, plus, you got the seasonal textures too. November 1, 3 Fox, turn right heading 1, 3 5. Turn right heading 135, November 13, Foxtrot. Okay, Talia, no, 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 no. Don't be stepping on the book. Center away. I use this chair. I don't think I need this anymore, but wow. I'm gonna set it over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look who we got. I got my black beauty. Yeah. My going on eighteen year old kitty, huh? Still spry. About twenty miles until we get to Golden. Probably should have turned those on. Will I ever get it right? I don't know, depending upon when you're watching this video. Maybe on my later flights I might actually have gotten it right. Hopefully my Black Beauty is still alive. Are you going to be around until I finish this tour? Huh? November 1, I hope three so. Fox, turn the right heading. 1, 4, 0. Turn right heading 1, 4, 0. November 1, 3, 5, 5. For that matter, will I still be around? I hope so. This is going to be my lifetime achievement. Spending the next five years flying across the world from state to state. Dubuque Tower, Grumman, November 2386, Romeo is minor miles south, inbound ILS, runway 36, approach. Number 2386. Oops. Tower, fly straight in, runway 36. Altimeter 30. Country to country. Fly straight in, runway 36. Grumman 86, Romeo. Mm. 
Well, it looks like the horizon is at an angle, but it looks straight here on the um, the indicator. I forgot what this is called. Fourteen miles to Golden. Fifteen miles total to get to Dubuque. One of our oh, okay. ILS is working. I can use that DME now. Should we read some fun facts here? November one, three Fox. Turn right heading one for five. Maybe not. Turn right heading one four five. November one three Foxtrot. Crewman eight six Romeo. Clear to land. Runway three six. Clear to land. Runway three six. Crewman eight six Romeo. Grumman. It's a Grumman. Let's find out. Star Wars Episode 9 may feature a ridiculously powerful Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Let's see, it looks like there's, uh... For Star Trek Discovery, they have their short treks, and it looks like Saru got his own origin story, which apparently critics said is really good. I like Saru. I think Saru is interesting. Doctor Who's Jodie Whittaker isn't going anywhere. Good. I actually like her. She has confirmed that she will return for another season of Doctor Who. Turn this way anyway. Grumman, that's what we Grumman. Grumman. 
the Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems Grumman Planes Aha! Huh Well, these are all Grumman's right here. See that? Military, basically. We're getting there. November one. Here it is. Fox turn the right heading. One two zero. Turn right heading one two zero. November one three Fox Trot. The land class, I believe, is responsible for creating these little hills, little dips and stuff. So this is the Orbix Global, the FTX Global Land Class, North America Land, land, land Class. Looks pretty good. It looks from up here. It's pretty well defined. See, that serves that stuff again. Romeo, had an encoding overload, so frames may have skipped there. So what do you think so far? Do you like having the mix of Vox ATC with the default ATC doing the chatter? It's not bad. It's a nice little mix. At least I can still talk to it. I mean, I know I can get is it Game Commander or something? But... I don't know, it's not quite the same. I don't think. Okay, I don't know what this guy's waiting for, but I need to turn towards the... November 1, 3 Fox, turn left heading zero five zero. Okay, finally. Turn left heading 050, November 1 3 Foxtrot. November 1 3 Foxtrot. Maintain 4000 until established on local leaves. Clear. Cleared for IL. Dash run UA 36 approach. Maintain 4000 until established on localizer. Clear for ILS runway 36 approach. November 1 3 Foxtrot. Well, no, we know better. We need to be coming in at 2300. So that is what we're going to do. 
we come in at 3,000 and we should be at 2,300 by the time we get the golden. Let's see. Where's the 27? Sorry, 2,700, not 23. Bouncy time right now. Well, I guess if between this simulator and X Plane, neither one has got the uh, smooth cloud formations figured out. They just kind of appear. Airports probably should be off in this direction here. Thirteen miles. I've always learned, and I don't know if this is correct, I thought I read it, but you start putting your flaps down when you're like within, or when you hit like 10 miles from the airport. That's kind of what, that's what I try to do. With about 10 miles left, I start slowing the aircraft down. And I see the runway right up there. See it? Right there. Hopefully we'll get out of this wind turbulence by then. Alright, 10 miles, Is that actually a red over red over there? Saying that I'm too low. I don't know. Can't really see.
thinks I'm too high, but yet the approach chart says 2700 when we hit golden. We're two miles from it. This doesn't appear to be working, the vertical needle. Because if it's saying we're too... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, if we're too low, then that means the glide slope is above us. I think it's moving down. I wasn't watching it. I'm keeping an eye on the runway. <laughs> yeah, that is moving down. Okay, never mind. We're one mile, zero miles. So we're at 2700 and it's almost catching up to it, so... No, not bad. It's close. Five miles. I think we got some poppy lights up there. Taking a look at traffic, or well, not traffic, but the scenery that around here. So the Mississippi should be like right over that ridge there, Mississippi River. Dubuque is off here in the distance. Hopefully, Orvix got it right. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bouncing around. are coming in nice and easy here.
November 1, 3 Fox Street. Clear to land on UA 36, wind 360, at zero. Cleared to land runway 36, November 1, 3 Fox Street. Too high, apparently. I've reduced power a little bit. Don't want to overcompensate here. Add some power. Ooh, okay. It finally stopped bouncing around. Check this out, how this goes down. That is, that is cool. Alright, we're coming in. Coming in, coming in. November one, three Fox Street. Turn right any intersection. How about this one? <laughs> As we spin around. Yeah, I'll take this one right here. November 1, 3 Foxtrot. Did you copy? Wilco, November 1, 3 Foxtrot. November 1, 3 Foxtrot. Contact Dubuque Ground 121.8. 1 1 <laughs> he, can't, he can't talk about Dubuque. 121.8, 1 November 1, 3 Foxtrot. to 1.8 oh, that's 8 there 1 to 1.8 Dubuque ground November 1 3 Foxtrot vacated runway November 1 3 Foxtrot taxi to Park 1 via Charlie hold short runway 3 1 Taxi to Park 1 via Charlie, hold short, runway 31, November 1, 3 Fox Drop. Via Charlie, huh? Hey. Let me check my ground map here. Since I have one now. I think I have one. We landed on 3-6. Okay. Yep, we are taking Charlie. Well, there's like no other place for us to go. We're heading to the main terminal. Now the textures that you're seeing, these are all from Rex Worldwide Airports. So these here, I think. That one definitely. Unfortunately, it is universal. So every airport will be using these same textures. I, am, I have to go in and change them on Rex Worldwide Airports. I have to change them through the interface and create create like a new theme and then that way if I'm going to you know 
different airports and I want to change things up, I can just load up a new theme. November 1 3 Foxtrot Cross Runway 31 Taxi to Park 1 via Charlie. Cross Runway 31 Taxi to Park 1 via Charlie. November 1 3 Foxtrot. go over here. It's interesting that they've got There's cars. This might be a one of my payware airports. I don't know, I'll double check. The fact that there's cars out here has got me wondering. Looks like scenery builders. All right. Let's go ahead and shut this down. I <laughs> still forgot to put my landing lights down. Okay, just double checked. Okay, this is def this is not a payway airport, but this is something that I downloaded from Flyaway uh, Simulation. Is that right? Flyaway Simulation. Yeah. So Flyaway Simulation, and there will be a link uh, in the description. Not a bad airport, actually. This is done pretty nicely, I think. down here. So some of this is probably... I don't think it's part of the air traffic. Although I think I hear a... a plane coming in. Maybe. Yep, I see him. Right over there. I wonder if he's... That looks like an American connection. Huh. Yeah, but no, this, this looks... This looks nice. No, it's simple. I mean, there's not a whole lot here, but what is here, I like. Very nice. And it's free, flyaway simulation, uh, free download. So, yeah, when it comes to Dubuque, I would say get it. Heck, it's free. So that wraps it up for this flight. Uh, thanks for joining me on this. And um, as always, check out the other simulators to see... Hey, the experience, what it's like in those, especially the old ones. And of course, X-Plane, even though I don't have seasonal textures on it, it, with the ortho photos, 
it gives you kind of a, a, a neat look on how things would actually uh, look if you were flying uh, over the area. Just kind of like why I like flying with that one. But anyhow, I hope to see you on the next leg of our journey. It'll be a good one. Keep in mind, Mississippi River. It's going to be a big part of our flight next time. All right, take care. Be safe, and I'll see you later. If you enjoyed this flight, then you might enjoy watching it on one of these older simulators, too. We're following the same flight plan just so we can relive the fun memories of old. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future flight simulation videos, and thanks very much for watching.